In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We welcome all of you who are joining us today to celebrate the Solemnity of All Saints. We welcome you into Mater Redemptoris House Formation Chapel, joining the men who are in the formation process to begin studying for priesthood. My name is Father Nate Kuhn. I am the Director of Vocational Recruitment for the Diocese of La Crosse. So as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we take a moment to call to mind our sins and to ask God for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels, who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees, until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God, and exclaimed, Amen. Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Praise be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The lords of the earth and its fullness, 
the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is a people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is a people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure, as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord when jesus saw the crowds he went up the mountain and after he had sat down his disciples came to him he began to teach them saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are they who mourn for they will be comforted blessed are the meek for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we have the great privilege and honor of celebrating the solemnity of all saints in which we acknowledge all those who are saints, those who are with God in heaven. There's a little bit of understanding that we approach when we look at the saints. You know, a saint is any soul who has lived a faithful life and who has come before the Lord to receive judgment and was, has been welcomed into 
their eternal resting place with God at the, the marriage feast in heaven, gazing upon the great splendor and glory of God, and in union with God who loves us and who made us, the ultimate desire of our souls. Those are saints. Now there's a secondary element of saints that we look at as far as those who have been acknowledged and recognized by the church, those whose lives ex exhibited heroic virtue, those who have allowed us to come to understand more deeply the mystery of God's love in the world, and those who, through various means, God has communicated to us that they are truly in heaven, and we can know that with great certainty because of the signs that we have seen, the concrete examples, miracles that have been done through their intercession. And it's important then to remember as well that these saints who are in heaven with God share in his love and in that beatific vision. And so our role in approaching the saints is that we ask for their intercession, meaning that we ask them to pray for us. They are united with God, and so they can pray for us on our behalf. It is as, as, as if we are asking a good friend to help us out with a project or something that we are working on, knowing that they have all the resources that we need. The same is true with the saints. We are privileged to be able to call upon them, no matter where we find ourselves in life, that they can walk with us, that they can lift us in our prayers and unite them more closely to God. Just in recent times, about a month ago, the church was able to raise a young man to one of the steps closer to sainthood. His name was Carlo Acutis, and he was a, a young Italian boy who ultimately at the age of 25 died. He was born in 1991, so he was a millennial, and he is very close to becoming a saint. He wore Nikes, he played uh, computer games, he had a PlayStation, and he was a very real person. But he provides us for, as an example that it's not meant to be for just an elite few to become saints. Sainthood is accessible and really there for all of us if we follow the command of love that God gave to us and we put that into practice. Here in our own diocese, we have four such people that are really close to us. Blessed Solanus Casey, uh, a Capuchin friar. We have Brother James Miller, a, a Lasallian brother, who is in the process of that same sainthood for his martyrdom. We have Sister uh, Thea Bowman, who was a member of the Franciscan Order here in La Crosse. And we have Father Joe Walieski, a priest of our own diocese. These four really provide us with an example that here in this part of Wisconsin, no matter where we are in the world, anyone can be a saint. And I think that's important, especially these days. We are all called to sanctity, to live with heroic virtue. In all that we do, we are called to follow God and the path that he places before us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for Amen. us. Now let's, let us stand as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. 
Amen. Brothers and sisters, through this common prayer, let us pray to God not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for, ne for the needs of the whole world. For all Christian people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are not able to attend Mass in their parish church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who call upon Christ in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come before you with faith and love to praise your goodness and to acknowledge our need. We ask you to hear the prayers we make in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Amen. With many crowns, a lamb upon his throne. Our call the heavenly anthem drowns all music but its own. Awake, my soul, and sing of him who set us free. And hail him as your heavenly king through all eternity. Crown him the Lord. Of life, who triumphed o'er the grave and rose victorious in the strife for those he came to save. His glories now we sing, who fight and rose on high, who died eternal life to bring them lives that death may die. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for today by your gift we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims, advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the Church, through whom you give us, in our frailty, both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with a multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Visit us 
with your salvation. Let your love in us Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hi, everybody. Bishop Callahan here, expressing my gratitude and that of the entire diocese for you joining us for the celebration of the Mass each and every Sunday. The televised Mass is our way of reaching to you and hoping and praying that with you, God's blessings are going to increase in whatever way you may need them. We ask for that blessing for you and for yours and for your family. God bless you and thank you again for your support.